Okay, guys, hey, I'm on uh, part two now. Uh, this right here is the, uh, I'm concluding uh, with my uh, update uh, of my uh, living room curios. Uh, some of these are maybe some of the same statues that I have, and some of also new statues that I put in, and some that I actually may have uh, brought in from uh, my uh, statue room. That's mostly just did some rearranging, so it's like a lot of the mixture of new, old, and just rearranging, that's all. Uh, this right here is new. I uh, picked this up at one of those uh, Comic Con conventions. This right here is the uh, Chris Evans version of uh, Captain America: The First Avenger. This is supposed to be in one of those San Diego Con's uh, exclusive edition. Uh, with the shield, I wish uh, the only drawback. I, I wish it had more like that aircraft aluminum type shan. Uh, but this one actually has a real nice shan to it. It's more of a. Um, see if you can get it. You see all the like the metal flake. It has a more like metal flake type, you know, um, acrylic shan. Oh, or enamel. It looks real nice though, still. Despite not having that aircraft aluminum look. And it does have a pretty nice likeness of uh, Chris Evans. And I love this suit though, uh, more resemble to the uh, ultimate Captain America in the comic. Uh, the, base, the base is basically just basic. More like a resume, more something like a cog or something from S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, this right here, of course, is uh, my Natiri statue from uh, Avatar. I always wanted this. I, I don't, I'm not really big on the Jake Scully one. I just really wanted her. I really wanted the exclusive, but at that time, Sasha was sold out of the exclusive version. And I kind of regret it. Uh, I thought about buying it or picking it up maybe on Amazon or eBay from a, a, you know, um, a seller. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, I kind of wanted the fresh, new. And so I went with this. At one point, it was one guy. I don't, I don't know what happened with the statue. He was selling the exclusive pieces, and I want to kick myself in the head now. I should have bought it. Someone's telling me to buy it because I had a feeling that, you know, that I may wind up getting the statue soon. And I just figured I was getting the exclusive anyway, so why buy pieces of an exclusive? But I hate myself now for not getting them. The exclusive was actually, I think, uh, it was a dagger in her hand and the, uh, the knife, the sheath or whatever they call it. Uh, I think it was a little different from what I remember. Uh, this right here is uh, one of my favorite bad guys uh, from Marvel. Uh, this is uh, Apocalypse. This right here is uh, Bowen Designs. I see even the base to me is pretty cool. You know, uh, has more of that Egyptian type uh, look or either more like Mayan or something. But actually, uh, Apocalypse is supposed to be one of the first mutants ever. Um, uh, he's supposed to date back to uh, around the time period of uh, you know, the beginning of modern civilization in Egypt. Uh, this right here is not the Bone Designs statue. This right here is uh, Emma Frost, the White Queen. This right here is the uh, exclusive version of her phasing. But I guess it's supposed to represent more her going into that diamond kind of uh, crystallized look. Even the base. That's one thing I always said about Bone uh, on his, you know, his X-Men bases on uh, his last uh, I think maybe 10 statues or something they have this kind of logo on it which is to me is real cool you know this is real nice you know you see how even her uh, waistline all that you know translucent uh, you know her upper uh, chest and you know head you know this is nice the other version is same pose same everything it's just painted you know I thought about getting both of them and just kind of displaying them together but then, uh, you know, I was just saying that I gotta slow down with just banning the same old statue. Now, here's the, this right here is my Hulk. My Hulk always been down, you know, always been in this display. Uh, the only difference uh, was with my Hulk. Uh, I think I may have had it at a, a higher level. Uh, just these Hulk's from different guys. This right here, I think, came from uh, Diamond. Uh, the World War Hulk, this right here is uh, from Bowen Designs, which is, you know, this is pretty tight. It's one of the nicer ones. I think this right here is a, a diamond. This right here is uh, a landing they did. Which, it was pretty cool. They did it with mostly all their top superheroes. Uh, this right here is like an origins piece. It showed him and, you know, Dr. Banner and more the Gamma Explosion. And it shows like the Hulk right here, you know, I guess how he looked. Some of them is based kind of like off how to... They appeared on a comic book covers at that time. 
this is another cool Hulk piece right here. This is one where he's really flexing on here. You know, you know, a lot of my buddies they like this one. Uh, this right here is from Diamond also. Even the base is kind of cool. They have it like I guess his weight is you know crumbling the Marvel uh, logo sound. Uh, this Hulk right here is pretty tight too. This is from uh, Hard Hero. Uh, I think I did a review on this one. Uh, but this is a nice one. You see another one in the back right between his legs. That right there is kind of like a crappy Hulk. Uh, that's from Diamond, I think. Uh, let me get a good look at it. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it looked kind of crappy. I got that from Tower Records when it was going out of business. I think I paid like 20 bucks for it. You know, so it's worth that much. This right here is like a Hulk Globe. Um. Well, I'd get this other one, you know. Uh, probably, with, probably with the tanks. That's, I think, the main reason I got it. The Abram tanks on the side. Uh, it has, like, the off and on button. Uh, you turn it on, and, like, little pieces of fragments from the tank or whatever flies around in it. It's kind of cool. And the water's kind of green. Uh, so, it, you know, it's nice. I'm not really big on globes. I think that was one of the days I went to a comic book store, and I couldn't figure out nothing in the back because I kind of either had everything at that particular comic book store that I wanted. And I didn't really want this, but I just bought it, I guess, you know, just to buy it. Uh, this right here is my Storm. Uh, she's basically the same also, you know. There's not too much in here that I, you know, that's new. I just really just did some re uh, rearranging with her. And uh, I think she's at a lower altitude or a lower shelf level than she was before. Actually, like this one right here, this was, uh, this was like, it was a KB's stores exclusive it was actually based on this comic book cover right here the Kenny X-Men book uh, it's really based because I don't know if you get a good look at it they have uh, almost in the same pose uh, which I thought was real cool to kind of go with of course I bought like maybe 10 of these books <laughs> when I found out they was making a statue of it anyway uh, one right here um, there's a hard hero I think Storm right here this is an exclusive version actually uh, this right here is to me one of the better storm statues made. This is by Diamond. This right here is from actually like a diorama of the fight with Phoenix. So they had like her and all of the other X-Men and the one with Phoenix all almost fighting each other. It may have been like maybe about a six or you know piece set or something. I know it had all the uh, more popular X-Men together. But I never was really like a hardcore X-Men fan so that's why I never bought all of them. This is a Bowen Design Storm, another one. This was her with a classic uh, first appearance suit when she joined the X-Men. Uh, so it's one of my favorite. I have a few other Storm statues that I, you see as a, in here. I basically ran out of room. I have a couple of figures too that I sort of like uh, from Toy Biz uh, Storm. This is one of the ones that I sort of like. The one in the back with her with the, more the long braids in the front. It's right a Storm Bobblehead. This right here is like a rendition of Storm the Goddess of Thunder. You see she had more like... Stuff that Thor would have, you know, like the hammer, home hammer. So it was just really like an uh, interpretation of her being the goddess of thunder. I think that was the name of it also. Also, I have like a couple of little plaques that when uh, I was going to see X-Men that I picked up uh, that the uh, movie theater gave us. And that was real hot. Okay, and this right here is like a few other little things that I have. Uh, Halo uh, from Kotobukiya. Kotobukiya. Okay. Uh, I've done a review on this one also. This is right here, him with the uh, the grenade that makes the, uh, the energy bubble. Uh, this right here is a Weimer uh, from 20 Million Miles to Earth. It's an old classic sapphire uh, made by Ray Harry Helsen. That stop motion animation. This is the same as uh, Minitron in the back. I think he's from Seven Boys of Sinbad. Big Guy and Rusty is like a Fox Kids cartoon. Uh, I'm not sure who made that. <laughs> uh, the Cyclops from uh, I think Seven Boys of Sinbad. Uh, that's made by uh, uh, in fact, uh, what, X Plus. X Plus for the Cyclops, X Plus for Metatron, and X Plus from the Weimer. Okay. This is basically my Daredevil. Uh, trophy room I guess trophy statues this just has this uh, the different evolution of the daredevil and the loves of daredevil this is also one of those other things that I told you about were like with the Hulk the the, the Marvel Origins made by Diamond it showed like a young Matt Murdock when uh, the chemical I got in his ass 
Uh, a few other ones. This, this is a real cool one right here by Bowen Designs. This Daredevil. I thought this was real cool. Especially with the Billy Club whip. You know, that's real nice. Uh, the Electro one. This right here. I, I don't really like. I just bought it just a bad. But I, I never, never was really crazy over this one. It's by Bowen also. Uh, this is another old Bowen uh, right here. The Black Widow. Uh, which is nice. Uh, this, this is a pretty nice Daredevil. This right here has the Ben Affleck uh, look uh, or likeness. Um, this is about uh, Kuro Bukia too. Uh, actually, even the Daredevil logo lights up. Uh, you have Bullseye right here. Have uh, Electra. This right here is another diamond. Uh, this is the Death of Electra uh, diorama. And you have some Bowen uh, design statues of Electra. This is real hot right here. It's one of my favorite statues. And uh, Daredevil right here. And the Black Widow. So this three-piece set was called like the love of uh, Daredevil. Uh, but I'm, I'm not sure uh, if they, they at one point sold them all three of them together. But I know there's like, you know, three separate pieces though. And this, this is another one of my favorites uh, from Bowen Designs. Uh, the Fantastic Four. The Fantastic Four is probably one of my most favorite comic books as a, as a kid. And even as far as a team, they were one of my favorite. Uh, you know, you had a thing. Uh, Mr. Fantastic. A human torch, which I think he was probably like the first that I ever seen this translucent type uh, thing done. You know, him and uh, Sue Storm. You know, you have uh, the, the the variant one of her, where she was all totally invisible uh, in the background. And actually, to tell you the truth, I wasn't going to buy it at first, but at the last minute, a friend had talked me into getting it because he said, you know, if you have all four statues, you should have that one too. That may be a hard to find uh, piece. You see, even the color one is kind of partial, you know, translucent with her phasing into an invisible form. These more have like these have the more look of the uh, classic um, Fantastic Four kind of look. Uh, if you don't don't remember or didn't know, she hoped she was actually a Fantastic Four member after the thing had uh, at one brief point he had left. Uh, the only drawback from this, they made the base too tall. I guess he should have took that into consideration, judging the other bases. But I don't know. You know, if that's something to skip Bowen Design's man or something they didn't pay attention to. But uh, it is purely a, a, a gorgeous looking statue, though, of Jennifer Walters. Uh, actually, you then you have Dr. Doom in the background. Uh, I had to put him on top of a CD case to kind of, you know, at least have him towering over him so you can get at least a better look of him. Uh, this is another Dr. Doom uh, miniature head. This right here was my Biodynamic Forces also. Okay, guys, hey, I'll see you in a minute.